Good morning and welcome to Australia. It is Wednesday, the 18th day of summer, and we're going to be going to Fletch and buying the license for Sheila today. First, I want to do a couple of things. We need flour, so I'm going to grab some wheat and throw it in the whatever these things are called. I forget the name. Okay. I have a fish and chips on me for some reason. I think Theodore gave that to me yesterday. Okay, my uh, inventory seems to be full of a lot of odds and ends, so maybe we'll go over and visit John also. Okay, I'm going to say hello to all my animals. Then I'm going to see what's in my crab pots. Then I'm going to check out my farm. Okay, we've got some stuff to harvest. A couple of watermelon. green beans Are these watermelons ready no a couple of tomatoes that are out of sync with the other bushes And some of our mighty spread is ready. And is that it? And no, we've got a whole bunch of onions. Okay, I think that's it. I don't know why I hoard my onions. I think I um, must have once needed them for a recipe and I didn't have any. So now I just always want to have a ton of onions on me. Uh, 490 is quite a bit though. Maybe we'll wait for the next rainy day and uh, for Jimmy. We'll put the mighty spread away, as well as the eggs. Okay, let me run into town and see Fletch and John. Got a black and white snapper in the recycling bin. Okay, we're going to sell him that copper hammer that we made last night because we don't really need that for anything. Okay, I also want to visit Franklin and see what he's got. Picket fence. Do I already know that? No, 5,000? Oh, we'll get that. I like the picket fence. And we'll visit Fletch ask about the um, deeds. I think I might have said license earlier.
Takshaptid. Seven hundred fifty thousand increase. Wow. Ah, okay. <laughs> That was a lot of information. All right, so um, I wanted to put it here, but it looks like I'm maybe not going to have room. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that's a big building. So I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to change things around once we get a lot of money. My original vision of this was... Um, like to have all the buildings along the shore. Um, there's a town in California that's like that. I can't think of the name of it. And there's also a, a town in Scotland that's like that, that just has all these like really pretty buildings along the shore. And then the rest of the town kind of like goes up behind it. That's why these two buildings are facing the water. But I might have to change things around just because it's it's really not working out the way I wanted um I wonder if I could build this out more let's see how big the uh tucker box is yeah it's huge oh my gosh I could put it here. I kind of wanted it to be right in the middle of town, though. You know, I'm wasting precious daylight trying to figure this out, so maybe I'll figure it out when it gets late and the clock isn't ticking. So let's see, compost something, smash six ore rocks, and dig up dirt four times. Okay. Let's run back towards the farm. We also have something new on the board here. Moo capture. Okay, we'll think about that. So I also noticed that in order to build the tucker box, we need to use these kegs. So um, I was kind of sad about the fact that I thought I wasted permit points on a license because I got the license for the brewing license when I really already had access to the kegs. But as a commenter pointed out, um, I wouldn't be able to build any more kegs without the the license that I bought. So in the end, I guess I didn't waste those permit points. Um, I wasn't planning to build any more kegs, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to use the ones that I currently have to build the darker box. So I would eventually have to build more kegs. Um, let me see here. Let me throw this fish on here. Grab some more wheat.
I could do some yabbies, so I'll throw that into my pile. I've got nine shiny discs, so I'm going to sell some of these to Franklin. Um, first, I'm going to put some of this stuff away. I don't need the camera. And the Tucker Shop deed, I'm going to... Oh, I can't put that away. Okay. Oh, compost something. We do that before I leave. Okay. You know, there's nothing really going on here. Maybe I'll turn this whole big area into part of town could be like a very wide main street leading to a square. That might be an idea. Kind of turn this all into a park area. I'm going to Franklin, not John. I have some discs for you. Thirty-nine thousand. Okay. Now we're gonna head down into the mines. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I have to smash. That can be done in the mines. Um, the moo capture. I think I'll. Yeah, I don't really know where any moo are. Maybe I'll wait for that for tomorrow. And I was going to look for a treasure spot to dig, but... There, we'll just dig some regular dirt. <laughs> I just stepped on a crocodile's head. Did you see that? <laughs> Okay. I'll leave these animal traps here. I'll take a mine pass and some rubies, keys. I'll grab this and I'll grab the spin effects for my hat. I think that's all I need. Okay, we're going to head down. Okay, we're getting kind of a late start in the mines, but that's okay. Just gonna mark this. Gonna eat a couple of eggs, and I'm gonna head north. was gonna get me right through, but uh, here we are. That's pretty good. I'm not heading anywhere near north. Let's try this again. Oops. 
Okay, so I'm primarily looking for Bercomium today. But I'll grab this since there's so much right here and since I need to do it for my task anyway. Okay, so there's my task complete. And I'm going to pick up some of these because we do need some lanterns around the farm. And that reminds me that we did get a, a blueprint for the um, cement planters that I want to build. So I'm happy about that, but that's more decorative. Oh, here we are. It looks like we've got a fight going on in here. All right, two, three, Vercomium. Nice. Another candle hat, frilly statue, and I'm just going to pick up some of this grub meat. And grab a couple more of these lanterns. Keep heading this way. Can't resist getting a little more iron. Now, is this the same room? It is really nice being down here without getting attacked every three seconds. I always need copper. Here's another room. Oops. You didn't mean to do that to me, did you? Oh, darn it. I mean, I'm sure emerald shards are good for something, but I would rather have all the other stuff than emerald shards. Let me see what this fairy bread is about. Since I'm a little low on health from that accidental bite. Hmm, doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, I see. There it is up there. Ah, uh, six minutes of... Oh, speed. Okay.
And here's another room. chest. Okay. Keys. Always need those. Look at this. Three frilly statues. That'll get us a lot of money. And let's see back out here. We're still flying kind of north. for more treasure rooms. Yeah, let me put this hang glider closer to everything else I'm using today. There we go. And I'm gonna put the food down there. Oh, here's a lot of iron. I want to take a look at the map, too. I feel like I've been flying around in circles a little bit. Let's see. Uh, not really. But I will continue to head more north. Are you killing more grubs? I would like some grub meat if you have any. I don't see any. Oh, there's one. Okay, let me get out of here. I don't want to accidentally get hit again. going north. Ah, but here's another room. Chromium in this one, but we got some tools, sprinkler, paint. Quick look at the map. flying down here. Oops. Do 
have hit a big wall. There we go. Now I think we've been here. It looks like I've been on the other side. Let's just check. Yeah, the door is open. Here's some uncharted territory. And another room. and another chest. Bracomium and two opal. Wow. Some paint, springs, and a ruby shard. Have I mentioned how nice it is not to be attacked constantly? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go a little bit further north, maybe. That's a dead end. All right, another one. And another chest room, yes. Bracomium. Spring paint and a Digo statue, an advanced slingshot. And we'll leave the mossy brick path there. Oh. And there's our warning. It's 11 p.m. Okay. Time to head for the exit. And it looks like we're in territory that we've been in before. Oh, and no, we're back into territory we haven't been in. I'm just going to kind of walk through here, preserve a little energy. Oh, we're at a big dead end here. There we go, we're around that wall. A 
11.53. Just how far away are we from the, the exit, I wonder. I don't really feel like I have time to open up the map and look. Oh, there we go. It's late. Oh, am I right there? I'm right there. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Come on. There we go. We're gonna make it. Nice. Can you believe I forgot to leave my dink in the chest again? I mean, it all worked out, but... Alright, let's put a bunch of this stuff in John's chest. So we're going to sell him the frilly statues and maybe not the red paint. The extra candle hat, the black paint, iron axe, paint remover, the advanced slingshot, the Diggo statue. Okay. I'll grab that feather. And we'll head over to the farm. And I'm going to put a bunch of this stuff away. this brocomium and the shiny stone. Oh, shiny stones go over here now. Got another key. We'll grab a couple of slate and put those in there. some stuff to put in the house. Okay, so I've got six blue paint. It's kind of a lot. Maybe I'll sell a couple of those back to John. I don't know where I'm keeping all my emerald shards probably over in the mine chest. So I'll just put these here for now. The ruby shards definitely go in the mine chest. I'm going to throw the meat in the crab pots. I'll throw my jackhammer on to charge. And I think I'm going to sell the... Oh, there's the bacomium ready. I'll throw that in there. And I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell the um, tools to John because my toolbox is full. And I'm also going to sell him this blue paint. So 
So let me look around with this. Um, so I've got my farm. Oh, I know. So there's the farm. And then there's, there can be all these like shops that I need to utilize. And then this could be for everyone. Okay. I think I know what I want to do. I'm going to make this wider for like a, like a boulevard. I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of these trees. That's a problem with doing things late is the energy expenditure. So I'm going to tamp this down and make this all like a wide boulevard. And put all the shops here. And then maybe I'll move the tucker box to here. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll go into um, Fletch and see about getting this moved. Yeah, because that way when people get off the the plane, the air balloon thing here, they can like go towards town and eat right away. I just have a few things to put away. I'm going to have to make another chest here because this is kind of like a combination building and planting chest, and I don't like it that way. I do have some beetroot seeds that I could throw down. So maybe I'll do that real quick before bed. Oops. There we go. Okay, so maybe tomorrow we'll do the uh, Warimu capture. Got an extra green bean on the ground here. Oh, a few of them actually. throw some bush limes in here and I'm gonna fry up a couple of eggs
Okay, and tomorrow we'll maybe see about the Warimu capture. Or not the Warimu, the regular Mu. So we'll see about that, and we'll look at starting to redesign the town to put the Tucker box down. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you join me again. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.